I'm Sister Jaja Glamour, the Porno Nun, and this is the epistle for today. I will be reading from my pamphlet aimed at the gay adult industry on the subject of barebacking. It's addressed primarily to studios that produce bareback videos, studios that are considering producing bareback videos, and models that work in the adult industry. The gay adult industry is at a turning point with technology, government regulation, and health issues. We need to think rationally, acknowledge our past, and plan for the future. There are a lot of unanswered questions we haven't discussed because, frankly, we're in competition with each other or are ashamed to admit we don't have all the answers. Let's make the right choices in setting the agenda for the next phase of our history. I am an old nun and I remember the days when we didn't need condoms for sex. As a sister, we've raised so much money for AIDS services and pushed our safe sex message until we're blue in the face. Under the white makeup, of course. I've also been in the adult industry long enough to see some disturbing trends develop. I pray our efforts were not wasted. The current industry mantra for mainstream adult movies is to shoot safer sex only, maintain confidentiality of HIV status, and not discriminate on the basis of HIV status. But before we get all high and mighty and pat ourselves on the back, remember it took a very long time for the industry to set that standard. In my opinion, too many models died before the studios decided it was economically feasible to go condom only. Today, feisty outlaw studios and websites are posing a challenge to the establishment by exploiting the concept of raw, unprotected anal sex. The jury is still out as to whether bareback movies are an economic threat right now, but my crystal ball warns me that the trend should be addressed in some way. Unfortunately, until I upgrade the software on my, on my crystal ball, it only provides me with warnings and not solutions. It distresses me, though, to envision the day when the lunatics take over the asylum, or more correctly, the wrong lunatics. I prefer to envision a day when all STDs are curable, all performers working in the gay adult industry are completely disease-free, and condoms are no longer an issue. We've gotten so accustomed to the idea that the crisis is forever, we've lost all hope of even trying to end it. I'm posing this idea as a challenge and a goal to the gay adult industry for everyone's long-term success and good karma. In my next segment, I'll be outlining my 10 suggestions for harm reduction in shooting bareback and non-bareback gay porn movies. This is Sister Zsa, Zsa the Porno Nun, and this has been today's epistle.